All right, here's why a lot of you young folks watching right now, and we are like a demo magnet, but enough about me. Here's why you should be paying attention to this mess of the border. The more of those illegals who get in, the more it's going to hurt you at work. The president's economists are actually saying that immigration reform will be the best option to generate a younger workforce. But 40 percent of unemployed Americans, guess what, are you guys, millennials, just desperately looking for a job, any job. So is the policy now to make sure you don't get a job? You have to wonder. All right, we got the All-Stars back, Hadley and Scott, Noel. Hadley, what do you think? You know, Neil, I think we're a nation of immigrants. I'm pro-immigration. I think it's great if people want to come to this country and make a living. But we don't really need, a, we don't have a labor supply problem so much as we have a, a job supply problem. So I think, you know, millennials ought to be focused on what is in the way of job creation in this country. That's why we're unemployed, because people aren't creating jobs. Entrepreneurs aren't free to do that. And we also have a problem in, in our jobs market in that there's a mismatch between the qualifications, the type of jobs that millennials want, and the types of jobs that are available. So those are really the issues as I see it. You know, there might be something to that. Um, Scott, when I was recently in California, I was talking to some business leaders out there telling me, Neil, I have a devil of a time getting uh, young people to take these jobs, even at 10, 11, $12 an hour. And I said, well, who, who fills the slack? He said, well, well, immigrants. And I immediately said, well, of course, they're, they're not illegal immigrants. And they would just add immigrants. and. Uh, I left it at that. But my, my point was, their point was, these jobs go begging because young people don't want them. That can't be true. Well, Neil, that's actually something that's been going on for several years. You know, a lot of jobs, and it's not just in the millennial generation, but they aren't taking them. The, the people that are uh, U.S. born that are qualified for them. No, I mean, that's the I, tough I understand spot. that, Scott. I'm not totally naive. I just appear that way on TV. But I, here's what, what caught my eye, though. Even with those higher hourly rates, the apparently not across the board but in a lot of cases young americans just pass them up they do and i think to hadley's point you know we don't want to lock out all immigrants from coming and taking those jobs because it is good for companies but you know the other issue too i think is a political one which is you have the administration going out there and saying hey kids go to college you know take educational classes yet they're the ones that are saying well we're also going to let these immigrants come in and compete for your jobs and ultimately probably lower that wage but then if you take surveys of those millennials neil that are losing those jobs to some of the immigrants there's the ones that are saying hey we don't feel like we need to build a fence or have immigrants Immigration reform. I mean, there's kind of a disconnect between how the millennials feel, i.e., those jobs they want to take, and then what their actions are going to be to fix that problem. What do you think of this, Nolan? And how does it? lay out in, the, in this year's midterm elections in the presidential election? Well, first of all, when you have Obama's economic advisory team saying there's no way to reverse this other than having more immigrants fill these jobs, I think that that's, that's pretty sad that that is their conclusion. That's uh, nicely their, put. That's exactly what that's, they're saying. That's we the can't economy. fix it getting more young people no, here not to work, so we're going to just take them from, from the ranks yeah. of immigrants coming here, one, illegal or otherwise, to, to fix the numerator. Yeah, great solution. You know, what about more tax cuts, you know, for corporations? What about creating some more jobs? What about doing something to get those percentages of millennials that are out of work instead of focusing, oh, let's just open up the border for more immigrants to take these jobs because there's no way we can reverse it. Really, that's the economic ad administration's advice. Well, that is. If we, get, if we can just get the young people in here from, from elsewhere, <laughs> they'll take the jobs young people here won't have, and we can forcibly move that young unemployment rate down. Well, I can't argue with the numbers because the fact is yeah. a fact, and I mean, there is some truth to that, but the fact that this is their answer, that there's nothing else to be done, nothing else other than having this in to solve the problem and to, and to uh, reverse it and fix yeah. the trend, I think is a bunch of bunk. Okay, right. <laughs> we'll take a quick break here. When we come back, uh, remember when Republicans captured the House in 2010? Why Wall Street is betting on something even bigger for the Grand Old Party in 2014. They're putting money on it. It's not just an opinion. They're banking on it. Should you?